second guys uh, I'm gonna take we're gonna take a look at um, another application on Mac OS that I use for streaming a lot of my video content uh, which is friendly streaming and you see the name right up there and I like this one because it supports many video streaming services the one I used it before it just supported Netflix and then after a while it made where well, you actually had to pay for it here you can make a donation depending on how useful it is so um, if you go up here and you can see uh, shortcuts for at least eight different uh, video services which uh, apparently does support that's why they have them up there the spectrum I added myself but we're going to take a look at that in a minute uh, YouTube channel um, Am Amazon Prime uh, and then YouTube channel, those are the three I have up currently, of course, Spectrum. Now, I have do have problems with Spectrum. Just to show you when I go up here. And I think, as you can see, blocked plugin and this, uh, in fact, let me go to my library. Now, if you just bring up a regular HTML page, it's fine. Now, if I try to play on a video, it will say blocked plugin. And if we go up here, um, flash player test I think it has something to do with um, the flash plugin and they even have a little section up here where you can uh, fix errors in clear data and it kind of works but unfortunately it kind of defaults back to the, uh, the other page and then when you try to continue it basically does the same thing again so uh, this may not necessarily work with all pages now I'm not saying it's the uh, fault of friendly streaming uh, I'm not sure if spectrum still uses uh, flash video that's kind of being phased out in, in terms of HTML5 and some other codecs and um, so perhaps maybe friendly streaming doesn't support it I'm not sure so that is one big issue now up here as well you have some little shortcuts um, if you want to donate, which I, I plan on doing here in the uh, new future, and then just to support the developer, and it does give you a couple of preferences, not a whole lot. Um, this is more a simplified um, application. I believe it's based on, it's kind of like its own simple HTML web browser, but it's just a uh, geared towards uh, content creation videos um, and let me see right, right here we do have a few preferences Windows transparency and a couple other things right here uh, another nice thing is you can play this in reduced mode and for some reason it's not showing uh, in fact let's go, let's go back to uh, Netflix um, just to show you a little bit better before it uh, starts auto playing so when you go back here it will show the video in small mode and this will be superimposed over let me see if I can bring up something else so it will always remain on top I guess you have to put it in one of the four corners and so you can continue watching it while you're doing other things um, that maybe not exactly the <laughs> best way for productivity but you do have that option and the uh, fixed errors clear data if you're having uh, particular problems with using this application um, this is a way to fix that and you, you've seen that with the spectrum website of course it didn't really fix it but it had at least a way you can try to clear that out and uh, so I find this very useful um, this is friendly streaming for Mac OS so give it a try uh, for your uh, most uh, preferred streaming content through the internet using instead of using a uh, web browser. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.